G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, when working with SharePoint libraries, we're often told that uh, folders aren't a good way to manage our content and that we should be using metadata, but there are times when folders come in really, really handy uh, for certain use cases. One of those use cases is when we wanna try and manage the access or control who has the ability to edit certain pages in a SharePoint site. So let's say I'm the owner of a SharePoint site and I've set up my homepage and I don't want other people, even members of my team to mess around with that homepage. I've got it exactly how we want it um, and I wanna be able to control or a small, uh, a smaller group of my team need to be able to control uh, the layout and the content on that homepage. And this is where folders can come in handy while still giving the ability for the rest of the team uh, to be able to contribute content, create pages, uh, tell their stories, update things, um, and that type of uh, situation. So let's have a look at what we can do to make this scenario work. So you can see here I'm in a SharePoint communication site and I've logged in as Megan. Megan is the site owner of this site. We're going to jump into site contents and let's have a look at the, the site pages library because that's where all the pages or news articles get created. So if I jump into site pages, you can see that there are two pages here. This learnhome.aspx is the home page of this site. So I've created it, I've set it up, I'm ready to go, and I don't want anybody to, else to, to change that, but I still want them to be able to create content in this site. So one of the ways we can do that is create a folder, move or copy this page into that folder, make that the home page, and then secure who has access to that folder. Now the first thing we're going to need to do though is we're going to need to allow us, uh, allow the ability to create folders because you can see here by default we don't have that option. So if we go into the library settings of this library, under the advanced settings section, you can see this option here for us uh, to be able to make new the new folder command available in that menu. So we'll select yes, we'll click okay. Now what we've got is the ability to create a new folder. So if I go new folder, let's just call this secure. We'll create that folder. Now what we need to do here, if this is the page that I wanna secure, Let's now, what, we, what we're gonna do here is we're going to copy this page into this secure folder and we're gonna copy it here. Now, this is still the default, the home page of the site. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to go inside of the secure uh, folder, select this uh, page here, uh, and we want to make this the home page of the site. So I can click the three little dots, make home page, and publish this page. Now that is now the home page of this site. So if I jump back into site pages, I wanna now delete this uh, page. We'll remove that. Now the home page is set to this page here. Now let's secure this uh, folder so that only site owners have the ability to edit any pages in here. So let's select this folder. We'll click the share button. You can see down here, you can see who this is shared with. We've got owners, we've got visitors, and we've got members. And you can see any person in the member group has the ability to edit. So first thing we do is we go can view, and now only the loop owners group has the ability to create content or edit content inside that folder. Okay, now let's just test this out. So we'll jump across to Nesta. Now Nesta is a member, so he's part of the members group. Let me just refresh this page. You can see Nesta's got the ability to create a site page, create a folder. So let's create a page here, just to show us. We've created this page and we are good to go. Uh, let's publish that and that's gonna publish to the, the, the root of that uh, site pages library. Okay, so that's now published. If I now jump back into site uh, contents, into site pages, and let's have a look what happens in the secure folder. So if I jump into secure folder, you can see now that I don't have the ability to create anything new in here. 
or I don't have the ability to edit this. And you can see here that I've got only the read access to this page, all right? So not only can members still create content, but I still have the ability to uh, control, uh, if I need to, uh, access to certain pages that I don't want the members to, uh, to edit or change. So that's just one way uh, to, um, to manage the content inside of the site pages library. And this is where folders can come in really handy for that particular purpose. Now, I'm, this is just one way to be able to do that. There are multiple ways and I will uh, showcase those in additional videos. One of those is the page approvals, uh, which will be in a, in a follow-up uh, video as well. So I hope this, this brings you some value just to show that, uh, that folders do come in handy in certain use cases. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. And please, if there are any uh, content authors or site owners that you think would get value from this, please share it with them. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode.